Hello everyone. So I am heading out to the haunt, although it's not the haunt anymore. It's not even Fright Nights anymore. Uh, it's being transitioned to the Christmas event that I was telling you about. So I guess I cannot refer to it as going out to the haunt anymore. Now I have to refer to it as going out to the Christmas event. Which doesn't roll off the tongue as well. But in any case, I'm heading out to get some progress pictures because I haven't been out there since they started the transition. I've been to the shop and seen a couple of the props that they were making, but I haven't been out to the actual location since before Halloween, actually. So I'm just going out there to get some progress pictures to post them online, and I will show you guys as well. Well, as you can see, it still looks pretty much the same for right now. I'm not actually sure what they're doing with the front, how they're going to change that. That'll be kind of interesting to see. So I didn't actually record too much out there or even really take that many pictures. I was actually kind of shocked to see just how little progress has been made. I mean, I hate to say that. I know it's a giant project to like tear down all of Halloween and turn it all into Christmas in like less than a month. So it's a giant project and I understand. I just, I expect there to be a little bit more. But he said that by the weekend, uh, they should have the like the Christmas lights up and running and everything. So I'll probably head back out there within the next couple of days after it's starting to get dark and get some shots of all the Christmas lights up and running. But now I'm home and I have nothing to do for the rest of the day. So I'm probably going to get those pictures uploaded onto the Facebook page and then catch up on my vlogs probably because I'm a few days behind it. again. Every time I get caught up, I fall behind again for like another week, and it's ridiculous. Uh, when I was going out to the Christmas thing earlier, I crossed over that bridge that we normally have actually gone to before. Uh, remember we like walked down underneath it, there was the dock, and I saw the graffiti, and like my name was in the graffiti for some reason. Um, well, I have to drive over that bridge going out to Boone Hall. And today when I drove by, there was like a million cop cars and ambulances and everything, and I wasn't sure what was going on, because uh, I didn't see any like car wreckage or anything. In my mind, I was kind of thinking that maybe somebody jumped from the bridge, um, and so a bunch of police and ambulances responded. Just now, I found the story online that apparently, like, 20 minutes before I drove over that bridge, a body was found underneath the bridge. Right where me and Emily were walking that one day. And that's a little bit creepy. I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> 